the pros and cons of content marketing, that is exactly what you and I are going to address here. And you'll see exactly how you can get moving with your content marketing strategy. You'll also discover one of the huge, huge advantages to content marketing that leave all other promotional and marketing options in the dust. So my friend, let's jump into all this. Here's the pros and cons of content marketing. All right, now, if this is your first time here, I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. Now, to help you along with all this, we really need to put you on the right track with all of this online business stuff, marketing stuff, specifically content marketing. So to help you along, I've put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is a completely free, easy to follow PDF guide that gives you a solid blueprint and foundation for you as you're building out your online business, your marketing efforts, and your product and service offers. Your free guide helps you to put the right plan into action, packed with powerful action steps that you can take right away loaded with valuable tools and resources. Go and grab your free guide right now while you can, while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. All right, now let's delve into the biggest pros and the biggest cons of content marketing. Let's start with the pros. Here's the first one. The first big pro for content marketing is this. When you publish useful, helpful content for the audience, the types of people who you want to bring into your business, into your products and into your offers, what this does is it builds ingredients that are vital for your business. I'm talking about things like trust and credibility and expertise. These sorts of things are things that your potential customers, again, the audience, the market that you are serving and seeking to attract into your business must have before they can ever buy from you. Publishing informative, well-researched content that gives your audience exactly what they're looking for positions you as an authoritative and trustworthy source. That's the first big pro for you. Here's another big pro for content marketing, the low cost. Unlike running paid ads or paid traffic strategies and other marketing strategies, which can get very, very expensive, if you've ever looked into it, your content marketing strategy really only costs you your time. And that's really fantastic if you're just starting out because most folks who are new to the world of business are short on cash and long on time. So it takes time. It takes time up front to research the content that you want to publish. It takes time to develop the content into a finished and ready for publishing article or blog post or video or tutorial or whatever you happen to be putting together. But other than your time, it costs you nothing. It doesn't cost you anything in terms of dollars to write a blog post or write an article or to create a video. And this brings us to yet another huge pro for content marketing, my friend. Consider this. The more content that you publish, the more articles, the more tutorials, the more blog posts and videos that you publish, the more potential pathways you create into your business, into your products, and into your offers. That's how I think of it. I think of every single piece of content that you publish as being a potential gateway or pathway into your business. And again, all it costs you is your time to create each of these pathways. Here's another huge pro for you, my friend. I'm not keeping count. This might be the fourth. I'm not, I don't really not counting here, but anyway, here's the next one. This one's huge. Pre-qualification. Listen, the biggest challenge that most salespeople and most marketers have is getting in front of the right people. The right people, meaning pre-qualified buyers. Pre-qualifying potential customers has traditionally anyway been a huge, huge hassle a huge expense that's taken a lot of time and a lot of effort. However, with your content marketing strategy, you won't be wasting your efforts on unqualified leads, AKA people who aren't interested in whatever it is that you do. Instead, and obviously, only people who are interested in the sorts of topics and issues and problems that your content addresses will consume your content and voluntarily, underline that, voluntarily move down your sales funnel. Man, that is huge. There's so many amazing 
positives for content marketing. Yet at the same time, we've got to be fair here. We've got to look at the downsides, the cons to content marketing. Let's start with the biggest disadvantage to content marketing, one that has a lot of business owners, a lot of marketers hung up, and that is the aforementioned time. It can take some time before you start seeing positive results from or coming from your content marketing efforts. Said another way, content marketing is certainly not a fast marketing strategy. So my friend, if you're considering a content marketing strategy for your business, just be aware, be fair to yourself and be fair to the strategy here that the benefits are not gonna be immediate or instant. Here's another downside, another con to content marketing, and once again, it relates to the aforementioned time. We already touched on this as a matter of fact. Researching, developing, editing, and producing good quality content, well, all of that can take a lot of time. And truth be told, sometimes it can feel like you're working for nothing because, again, you won't see any results early on. That said though, what's interesting here is that there is a silver lining. If you stick with it, you do get better and better and faster and faster at producing content. For instance, what used to take you days may now only take you a few hours or even less because you get so good at it, you refine your systems, you optimize the process, and you streamline the entire strategy. Now next, here's another challenge with a content marketing strategy. Here it is, sticking to a publishing schedule. For your content marketing strategy to work well for you and well for your business, really that's the name of the game here, you have to commit to publishing new, fresh content on a regular basis. So what do I mean by a, a regular schedule? Well, whatever you can reasonably commit to, maybe once a week, maybe three times a week, something like that. And this can be tough to stick to a lot of Content marketers wrestle with burnout and content fatigue. These are real, actual, legitimate challenges. Although that said, there are some solid strategies and methods that you can use to avoid having this happen to you. Since you've made it this far into the video, I'll let you in on sort of a secret insider pro tip. The key, the trick to sticking with a schedule is to pre-create your content well in advance. I think of it almost as like a, a television series, like a sitcom. Create all the content way up front, way ahead of time before it ever airs or gets published. But that's a conversation for another day. Now, in fact, there is one more huge advantage to content marketing one that I left out earlier on. For now though, truthfully, if you can navigate around the handful of downsides that come with using a content marketing strategy, and again, as I mentioned just a second ago, there are absolutely many ways for you to do just that. And if you can get this last huge advantage that we're gonna talk about in a second working in your favor, then your content marketing is gonna be absolutely unstoppable. We're gonna talk about that next. First though, if you're ready to start applying all of this for yourself and for your business, and here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. Now, there you'll find a free audience attraction bootcamp. This is a totally self-paced online workshop where you get the strategies for driving floods of traffic to your website and learn about the best tools to use. You'll discover and learn about the different types of website traffic that you can attract and which type is gonna be the absolute best for your website and for your business. You'll also see why most online promotional methods simply don't work, and instead you'll get proven models that drive near unlimited amounts of visitors into your website, into your offers, and into your products. Bring a notepad, you'll definitely wanna take detailed notes as we go, you don't wanna miss it. Next though, as I said, there's still one more huge, huge advantage to content marketing to promote your business, promote your services, promote your products. And as I alluded to just a moment ago, if you can get around the few disadvantages that come with content marketing, then you're gonna be unstoppable. Here it is. If you structure your articles, your videos, your blog posts, and other content correctly, and I can absolutely show you how to do this, then the content that you publish becomes evergreen. There's another word to underline, evergreen. What that means is, the content that you publish is always gonna be relevant. It's always gonna be topical. It's always going to be valuable for the sorts of people who you wanna attract into your business. And it's always gonna be working hard for you, bringing new leads into your website and into your offers. If you create your content 
very carefully so that it's applicable, topical, and useful for a very, very long time, again, evergreen, then here's what happens. Your articles, your published blog posts, your videos and tutorials and whatever else you've developed and published will continue working hard for you for years and years. Bringing those pre-qualified, we talked about that earlier on, pre-qualified sales leads into your business. Just think about that for a second. That is absolutely huge. You create a piece of content today, you publish it today, and years and years and years into the future, it's still bringing people into your business. I gotta tell you, that's what sold me on content marketing. I love the idea of getting evergreen results. I love the idea of working really, really hard up front once and getting results for my efforts over and over and over again. And let me tell you, I have tried everything else, my friend. I've gone with paid traffic or online ads. I've tried developing partnerships setting up resellers and distributors. I've tried white labeling it. You name it, I have tried it. All of them, my friend, every single one of them eventually failed and I had to either continually find new resellers, develop new partnerships, try different ad campaigns or go back to the drawing board again and again. With the content that you publish for your own marketing efforts and for your business, again, so long as it's valuable and helpful and evergreen, it will continue working hard for you, as I've said a number of times already, bringing business, bringing leads into your business for years and years. So I hope that gives you some insight into the pros and cons of content marketing. Now next, let's put the right plan into action for you in your audience attraction bootcamp. Once again, over at 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. I'll see you there next.